Full day, my highly esteemed viewers, you are welcome back to class. As you already know, my name still remains Mr. Israel Edward. In our today's discussion, we are going to have a look at some important topics as it relates to chemistry, actually organic chemistry. And the purpose of this class is to enable you to understand this uh, method of naming organic compounds because of your forthcoming jam question, a jam exam. If you have any issue with it, please kindly go back to my previous video and you understand it properly. In the question we have carefully selected, because I believe that if there's any naming of organic compound, this one will assist you a great deal. So you have the first one, name the following compounds that the questions require. If you have this, you can see that we follow the first rule, longest continuous carbon chain. Consider the longest continuous carbon chain. But in this case, we have only one long chain. Therefore, if that rule does not really apply here. The rule that applies here is the second one, which says start counting from the carbon atom nearest to the functional group. Remember, a functional group in a compound determines the chemical property of that compound. It gives the compound its unique identity. With that functional group, you're going to identify which compound it's you, you, you are dealing with. For example, you have double bond. Double bond means it's an alkene, unsaturated. It's, it's, it, di it differentiates from alkane, which is single bond, and alkyne, which is triple bond. So let's see how it goes. You see this? You start counting from the side nearest to the double bond or the functional group. One, two, three, one, two. So it's easier to go through this way. This is the right hand side, and this is the left hand side. So we'll take the right hand side because it's nearest. So you have one, two, three, four, five. You just know by it. So if you want to name this compound, it becomes. 5 is pentene, you say pent 2 in because you counted 2 before double bond. Pent 2 in. That's how you get. Let's go to the second one. If you look at the second one, first, by, me seeing, by me looking at it, you have seen a functional group already. An alkanoic acid or organic acid. The, the functional group is COOH. At times, you can write it like this C double bond O to OH, which you already seen here. So if you want to name a function, uh, this kind of compound, we start from the carbon atom of the carboxylic acid group. We now name it accordingly. But remember, if there were to be branch, like this branch now, this is one, two, three, four. Meanwhile, you have the longest continuous, one, two, three, four, five. If you also consider this, one, two, three, four, five. You see it, you can either go like this or go, but it's easier for us to take this way so that the naming will be easy. Now, if you want to name this, you start counting. One, two, three, four, Five. This one becomes, you see it, you have a, uh, a substituent, another substituent, another substituent, another substituent, another substituent. So you must respect their position. This one is a tie. A tie from archive group. Remember we said in our previous video that an archive group is a, is a is an uh, arcane that have lost one hydrogen atom. So you have a tie, you have bromine, you so this bromo. Let me say bromine. Uh, we have this one, methyl. Let's just put it bromo. Then this one have chloro. This one methyl again. So if you want to name it, you use alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, E, F as your course. So this one is E. This one is B. This one is M. This one is M2. This one is C. So, B first, you have one, start counting from the functional group, one, two, three. Three, use a hyphen, bromo. The next one is chlorine, chloro. Three, chloro. Then the next one is E, ethyl. Two, ethyl. 4,4-dimethyl. Dimethyl. 4,4-dimethyl. Pentanoic acid. Let me shake this side. Ethyl. Pentanoic acid. You can see it. Tiri bromo, tiri chloro, two ethyl, 
four up, four down, four four dimethyl pentanoic acid. The straight line is pentanoic acid. Then you have the last one. If you look at it again, the substituent start counting from the carbon atom nearest to branching. All these branching are not they are no longer enough. So we start counting from this left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one here you have bromo B, methyl M, methyl G M, chloro C. So you have three bromo. Three chloro. Two two dimethyl. Exine. Thierry bromo carbon thierry. Thierry chloro, the same carbon thierry. If it was before four carbon chloro, but this one is thierry thierry. Thierry bromo, thierry chloro, two up, two down, two two dimethyl hexane because it's a single bond. Thank you, viewers. Please carefully study this one and uh, you understand it. If you have any challenge, go to my previous video. God bless you. Kindly subscribe if you are not done so. Share and also like. Thank you.